The New York Jets came into the 2023 draft with a lack of depth at the offensive tackle spot. They remedied that with the 120th overall pick, taking Carter Warren, the OT, out of pit. So let's take a look at his film together and I'll show you why the Jets have one of the most pass pro ready tackles in the draft, despite the injuries. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we're back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown and this time we're looking at Carter Warren, the Jets' newest offensive lineman. When I popped on the pit tape, what stood out to me was his pass protection and how ready he is in that aspect. That's what we're going to focus on in this video. So there's two areas that really allowed him to be successful. His footwork and his length. His wingspan is incredible. His arms are 35 and 3 quarter inches, so he's got phenomenal ability to keep people off his chest and to stay clean in pass pro. Going to start with two reps against Clemson, looking at just that, the length. Left hand side of your screen, number 77. Have a look at this rep at full speed. Number one, great footwork, but it's the reach and the length with his right arm and the re-establishing of his hands and base. So talking a little more specifically, what have we got? Clemson's got a four-man front with a little blitz from the right-hand side of your screen. Warren's responsibility is the right defensive end. So he fires out of his stance looking for that man, but he bails into zone coverage. Does a nice job, eyes and feet back to the inside, resets, and he's in a powerful position. But have a look at this strike with the right inside arm. Bang! Underneath the chin, he stands up the defensive tackle, and he's in a dominant position. But right now, actually misses with his clamp doesn't have hands on him, misses the grab, and right now he's kind of in a position where he can get converted from speed to power. But he does a great job chopping with the right arm. Look how he gets the long arm stab off him. Bang, get that off me. Right arm comes down, chops it away, reestablishes the hand and anchors. That's high level stuff from Carter Warren. Great ability to adjust his footwork and eyes. Really good job with that initial punch and then overcomes a little mistake. Great re-establishing of the hands and work that anchor. Another good rep from the same game, this time against Miles Murphy who got drafted just the other night. You're going to see him here, number 77, with a great job ruining the pass plan, just messing up the play for Miles Murphy. He wants to go with a little cross-chop Euro step footwork, but Warren's not having it. Look how again that inside arm just bang, hits you in the chest and throws off the pass rush move. He's trying to swipe the hands away, well no chance, Carter Warren gets there first. He misses the hand swipe as a result, Warren keeps working around the corner, and have a look at the depth. He starts, what, two yards before the line, and ends up 13 yards in the backfield. Kenny Pickett's got the cleanest pocket to throw from, it starts with great hand usage, a great punch, and that navigates the cross chop. Moving on now, let's focus a little more on the feet. I liked this rep because he does a great job firing out of his stance, but then also is patient with his footwork and then shows the ability to match and mirror on the back half as well. I'll let it play at full speed so you get a good picture of what I'm talking about. You just see how effortless he makes it look though. Warren makes it look very, very simple and he's a smooth mover in pass protection. So does a great job being patient here. Covers good ground in his first two steps. Little fake uh, punch and shoot of the hands to keep the rusher off. He then hesitates. Little stutter step. Warren doesn't overcommit to the outside. He is cautious here. Does a great job pairing up and mirroring his hands with his feet. He then goes for his punch. He lands it and he wins the rep. But right now you can see the rusher wants to rip back to the inside. Warren's got to keep his base width. He does exactly that. Look how he keeps working his bottom half through the block. He keeps a nice wide base. He anchors, stonewalls, and Kenny, and Kenny Pickett's got a great, great throwing lane and a very clean pocket. Nice patience. Good job re-establishing the footwork, working the lower half through that block. It doesn't get much better than that in pass protection. From the same game, this time he's going to be on the right-hand side of your screen. And this is just a phenomenal job with all the things we just talked about. Traveling so well, getting out of his stance, very fluid in space in pass protection, that 45 degree kick step makes it look very, very easy. But then, good job with the length, the right inside arm again, standing up the rusher. And then look how he clamps, he anchors, does a great job dropping that base, fantastic distribution of his weight, powerful position. Once he stops the rusher's penetration, look how he just reworks his base through it and then throws him down the ring. It's just very, very classy, polished stuff. He understands the nuances of pass protection. 
Get out of your stance, shoot your hand stonewall. From there, we're then gonna rework our base through the block. We're gonna work him around the corner and look our quarterback can step up, bail, throw, whatever he wants to do. But look how he handles inside counters as well. You wanna see foot speed? This is a great example. Coming from the left-hand side of your screen, watch this adjustment. Fires off the ball, again. Look how well he keeps his quarterback clean because of his ability to adjust and to move quickly and to have fantastic foot speed. You can see he starts to get out of his stance. He's a little bit too far with his weight on his outside leg, but watch how he readjusts, moves himself through the block, stays in front and just washes him down the line of scrimmage. Again, it's a clean pocket. Even though this looks like a pressure, it's not. Carter Warren's in complete control of this rep. It's a great adjustment, and he can make it because of his footwork and his athleticism. I'm telling you, it's very, very impressive. I liked the way he could win to the outside. He could be patient, but then handling a counter like this or a couple of snaps against Clemson of this vein as well, it just impressed me. For the last video, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. This is not a pass pro rep. This is him in the run game. But have a look at the power. I've talked about length. I've talked about footwork but he's got power too. Right hand side of your screen, watch this. Bang. Finish? Oh, we got a pancake. I just thought this was a good rep to show that he can develop as a run blocker as well because he's got power, he's got length, and he's got leverage. Bang! Look at him just throw the DB to the ground who's blitzing and then just pancake him. Does a phenomenal job. I know it's a mismatch, but this is just fun. You love this nastiness. You love the ability to be physical at the point of attack, to want to finish and just land on your guy. We have maple syrup for days. A great rep here from Carter Warren. That was good fun. So that's an introduction to what Carter Warren can be as a player. He has the potential and the tools to be very, very good in pass protection. Again, I'm not saying he's going to come in and start for the Jets, but I think you can see there's a developmental talent here, and he really excels when protecting the passer.